Alright, so we're pulling out the boy King yet again, because if you don't know, we have new lane, and I'm actually enjoying her character. She's not bad at all. I like what she does, and she actually brings back a very old unit being Fairy King, the Chad version, because if you don't know, we haven't got a new king in some years. I want to say some years. We haven't got a new king, a new Gother in quite some time. So, to him being the newest version of the king that we have, he's kind of outdated, but with this new Elaine, he's back in the meta. So, this is the team we're going to use to lock in for today. We got Bond because if you don't know, Bond works with Sins and Fairies. So, I would imagine that this would probably be Elaine's best team. And then the Nashi's in the back because the other part of Elaine's passive, if you have buffs, she get, you do a fairies do eight percent more damage for each buff caps out of 32 which adds up to a four buffs so if nanashi procs is passive on top of elaine giving her buff this is three eats very free eats so this is the team we're gonna run in today let's go ahead and see what they got first up on the chopping board is the demon king okay this makes perfect sense we're gonna assume obviously evade food is in play but the beauty about Vaughn is that even if I were to use like an attack, his passive will proc the, the debuffs regardless. So that's what we're gonna go for. We go in and then just go in with King. Let's see what we can do. Okay, 130 is not bad. 152. That's also not horrible as well. Okay. Forgot to turn my PlayStation off. It's okay. Now we're still in the problem because this guy exists, being the Demon King. So, in actuality, without having an infect, this could get a little annoying. But on the bright side, he doesn't have crazy um, lifesteal. Since I have the shields going with King. So technically, I should be able to kill him. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. We, uh, we have to attack three times. So let's go ahead and level two with her. Oh, uh, this is the actual player, huh? Okay, we're gonna AoE with him, AoE with that, and then we're gonna go in with the Bond. That should kill the Demon King. If not, it's fine, whatever. Oh yeah, he Demon King's cooked. Demon King is actually cooked. Beautiful. He's out of the way. And now we don't gotta worry about him going crazy. They're stat lower to the utmost extent. And he has Escanor in the back. <laughs> of course he does. This is fine though. We chillin'. Because his all of his characters are dead next turn. We could use a buff, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to cook with Elaine a little bit. Use her buff. Okay, never mind, he's targeting her heavy. She still has infect on her too, so. But she has good defense. Her passive really helps her out. So this is gonna be nice. We're gonna go ahead and attack up. We're gonna AoE with the King. And just go crazy. Let's see what we got. Nice. Got an emote on. You already know. He was running the Demon King and he had the nerf the emote on me. And then he had Escanor on the back. And he's still kind of flopped. So, the free eats is, it's there. <laughs> it's definitely in the pack. Now we just gotta wait for him to AoE or something. Does he break shield? Not even close. This is beautiful. Very beautiful stuff happening here. So let's go ahead and get a lanes one screen because we Actually, nah, let's just get Kings. Unless he's 1 6. Don't be 1 6. Okay, that's fine. And you left. Easy like that. We cooking him. Well, I'm happy we started off with an easy dub against a Demon King team. So that, that makes me happy that we can go in with this team. I don't think they're going to be running dodge food, but you never know. So we're definitely gonna do the vibe check. Let me just double check for a time your link. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That, that checks out. Let's go ahead and go in on the bond. Let's see what we can do here. 
five check complete. I think we kill Bond this turn. Because my king should do some decent damage. Mm. Yeah, I think we kill Bond. Yeah, easy kill. And the thing about the Sin team is that they're all pretty weak. So, like... Yeah, they're not going to have too much going for them. They're not weak. I mean, in a way of... They don't have a way to cleanse these debuffs. The only person immune on the Sin team to stat lowering is Escanor. Purgatory Melee is too, because he can cleanse. But it's not that prevalent. It ain't. So, really... You kind of have to wait and drag it out in the way. Because now that our king is nullified, we can cook with Bond a little bit. He's going for my Bond, or not. Okay. I have a plan, though. Let's go for... We both with a lane. Ooh, nice. We both with a lane. We do this. And we just go for the kill. Bond should not get nullified because she should die. Or he, she, I don't know, man. Oh, that works too. <laughs> he just obliterated her with one card. 378? Wait. I know the attack up is crazy, but like, wow. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> 378 is no joke. When it comes to Bond, and it didn't even have the crit um, debuff on Escanor. That was nutty. I'm not mad at that at all. Definitely seems like a real player, though. Because he's he's really thinking about his life choices right now. Mm, this team might be my favorite team in the game right now. Because I always love when favorites can actually do their jobs. And funny enough... The fairies plus bond is cooking. So it kinda just hits. Let's AoE, we AoE, and then we single target with a lane. Get a windscreen. Unless King just obliterate. Oh my yeah, King just nuked that poor man. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't expect him to just die like that. <laughs> Jeez, bro, this team is crazy. This team is nice. Okay, we got the demons, we got the sins. I'm gonna assume we get the demons again, but I would like to see an unknown team. Yeah, demons again, it's fine. Ooh, they go first? I kind of figured as much when I saw the Holy Relic. So I'm gonna assume that he's running combat class food. If that's the case, then we should be fine. Because free eats is free eats. But, at the same time, with the Demon King going first, my team isn't the most reliable thing ever, depending on how he plays this. Going for the bond makes sense. He could kill my bond in one turn. Okay, he did something weird. That is an infect, though, so that's gonna work in his favor later. Hmm. And also, encroaching is gonna really suck. I think we lost. Going second is not helping our case. I think this is Cook City. Let's do... Attack up. We debuff the Purgatory and we kill Melon. I think with the attack up, we should be able to kill the Meliodas. Oh yeah, yeah. Meliodas is done. He's out. We don't gotta worry about him anymore. Easy, clear. Is true magic is it gonna hurt my feelings? But that infect is still gonna suck, so. How do I get out of this one? I don't know. I don't think there's an option or opportunity. With him going first, it kinda just cucks me a little bit. Hmm. I could. If he doesn't kill anyone, which is highly unlikely, I'm, I can go for the Demon King. I have enough DPS to do it now that I have an attack thing procced. So we'll just have to find out. Okay, the demon king kind of hurts, which means I think I lose this one. Okay. Okay. Don't die. Don't die. He is encroached though, which is not good. 
You kind of need him to not be encroached. Hmm. Well, if we're somehow able to kill him, we might be able to save this. But again, it's a Didion game. That's not going to happen. Yeah, I missed crits too, which is fair because I don't actually know what Elaine's crit chance is. Yeah, he got it. He got this one. I'll give him the win, but this match is over. He won. We're going to go ahead and skip to the next match, but I'm going to sit here and give him the win, though. Because I don't want to waste too much time on just waiting to die. <laughs> it's not, a, not not the best idea ever in terms of timestamps, you know? But, like, yeah, it's not a lot I can do in this situation. He kills everyone here. Yeah. All right. Do we go first? If we go second again, that's going to be a problem. Okay. Let's go for the good old fashioned evade food because we know that's an in the game. We're just. Mm, I think what we're going to do is actually do this. We're going to buff up, bait the evade food, and then just go for the shielding. Because I don't want Purgatory Melee to be too crazy right now. Oh, he left. Ain't no way I just made a Demon King forfeit against a lane. <laughs> there ain't no way. Who we got? Another Demon King, okay. He has less CC than the last guy. So we baited food nonetheless. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bait out the Purgatory Melee. To, unless he put an extra card, this should be fine. So we're gonna do this. Bait out the Melee. And go for the Power Strike in the back. Because I wanna see if I can get a level 2. Let's see what we got. Mmm, no evade food. Which means his melee is dead. Okay, well, not this turn. <laughs> Apparently, not this turn. This is fine, though. Regardless, he still has the waste of card, so. 9 times out of 10, it's gonna give you the Demon King AoE and then two melee cards. Didn't break the shield, that's good. So we didn't get infected. He's going for the king. AoE true magic isn't going to do a lot though. It's going to do something to king, but not the other two. Yep. And all falls into play. And now it's my turn, and I can kill the demon king this turn as well. I believe. You know what? Yeah, we're just going to do this. We AoE. We... And then we just go into the demon king. Let's get him out of the way. You should not recover above, above 50. Yep, that's done. You're cooked. Hmm, my damage is a lot lower than what it was the other, like when I fought the other game. game. Probably because I didn't have the, the buff. Damn, I'm really pulling no buffs with a lane. This is okay, though. He's rushing old. Interesting. Yeah, Asterosa, if you didn't know, he does nothing to King Shields. <laughs> like, absolutely nothing, so... Yeah. Okay, last one, LR Escanor. He out CC'd me, which means I lost. Anytime an LR Escanor with this team out CC somebody, that's a game. There's not a lot I, I think I can do in this situation. Escanor has buff removal, so Elaine's passive becomes really null and void, which means she's going to get one shot. That's also a problem, so... Bond's dead, turn one. Unless he doesn't crit. That's a crit. Alright, well, unfortunately, Bond's dead. We kinda needed him too. Which is very unfortunate. But that's what happens when LR Eskinoise goes first. They have so much hyper DPS due to Roxy's existence, it's kinda insane. So, what are we gonna do here? Hmm. Let's just go for the AoEs. There's not a lot I can do. We already pretty much lost. Like, solid AoEs. But like, without Bond, it's kind of rough. My boy's nullified, which is fine. 
He has a set for color. He doesn't need to be the most impactful character ever. What are we gonna do in this situation? Is die though, unless I can tank this somehow. Yeah, not happening. Lane's done. Well, hmm. How does one live this? I don't think it's a, that's a thing. I'm gonna be honest, Chief. Look, I'm looking mighty dead. Yeah, I couldn't crit, so I couldn't kill the Roxy. Uh, I crit the last hit somehow. There ain't no way in actual how I survive. But you know, I'm gonna test my luck. If I do survive, I got an idea of what I should do. Don't break the shield, don't break the shield. Okay, he's dead. LR Eskimo's kinda buddy. Buddied. Good job, bro. LR Eskimo's really good. I can't even be mad at that. If he goes first, you just kinda lose because you're losing a character turn one. And that's really like pushing the momentum of your game. I just wanted to do that test to do it, but you got it. I'm not gonna waste my time with Nanashi. But yeah, honestly, I still think King is really good. And now, with Elaine being a thing, he's actually relevant in PvP, which is kind of impressive because he's not, he hasn't been relevant in basically a year. I mean, we haven't had a new King in probably two. It's been rough for King and Gotham and characters like that. But now that Elaine is such a good fairy support character, it gives King so much more damage to actually do more than what he used to. Which is exactly what he needed. Because he obviously he can counteract the best team in the game, the Demon King. He did it relatively easily too, unless they go first. Which doesn't happen often since they all run evade food or something like that. But yeah bro, I say that's a dub. That is a good kit for an old unit to come back via a new unit. It's really nice. So, yeah, that's going to be a video. Be sure to like, subscribe, support the boys. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.